Hey, Pascal here, nice to see you again. I really appreciate your efforts, turning your computer on, looking for working Wi-Fi, and looking all over YouTube just to find this video. Thank you for that. And you won't be disappointed. This video is again about this awesome thing, the Mavic 2 Pro. And today I'm going to show you my color grading process. I actually two color grading processes because I basically use two ways of color grading depending on what kind of video I produce. So let's watch the intro and go straight to the computer. My name is Pascal Basel and in 2015 I quitted my job to escape the red race and travel the world. While doing that I rediscovered my old passion for filmmaking and learned to fly drones. Now I make videos of the most beautiful places in the world, be part of my adventures and learn how to make cinematic travel videos. So, as we all know, the Mavic 2 Pro not just has a nice new grey color from the outside, but also the camera produces nice colors and especially with the 10-bit color depths, you can see a lot more colors than a hippie on LSD from that drone, so that's absolutely amazing. But of course, we're using D-Log-M here to really capture the most information, so you need to know how to color correct and grade your footage on the computer to make sure that you really get all the colors out of there. So we're going to Final Cut now and I will show you how to do that. So I already prepared a clip here. It's actually from a commercial that I'm cutting right now for a company called Backpacking Through Bali. And this is a shot I did with the Mavic 2 Pro of the Senkum Pool, a second pool waterfall on Bali. Like you can see this clip is amazing. I first uh, run through a uh, fly with a drone through this path there and then we're going uh, looking down to the waterfall. I really liked it, especially with a slight rainbow here, but yeah, it will be hard to really make the rainbow visible. I already know that because I tested it before. So, um, and I want to show you my first color grading process that I usually use on my YouTube videos and that's actually the easier one because I use Film Convert for that. So, to do that I open Film Convert and I bring the grain down, I don't want to have any grain there. And then I click on open and now, right now at this moment, it's October 2018, the problem is that there is no color profile for the Fen uh, Mavic 2 Pro out there. So um, we have to trick it a bit and I actually use the D-Log color profile from the Phantom 4 Pro for that, because this looks Good, it's not perfect, but it looks good. So I use that first. I, I bet that in the next few weeks or months there should come a new color profile out from, from uh, Film Convert, so that will make it a little bit easier. But yeah, as you can see now, I give it a bit more saturation. And I must actually say I use the saturation setting zero in the Mavic 2 Pro. So that's why I don't need to pull the saturation up so much here, I would say. That's pretty good. And the next thing, as you can see right now with the standard settings here, the get some details lost in the shadows. So what I first want to do is I bring the shadows a little bit up so that I can see here that no shadows get lost or no details in the shadows. I also want to bring my highlights a little bit up because we have the sky here and it's quite bright. And then, of course, it's now a bit too bright, that image, so I bring my midtones a little bit down. And as you can see, that helps preserving the details in the shadows. So I have to raise the shadows again a little bit. And bring the midtones again a bit more down. A little bit more, okay. Now you can see we're losing detail in the shadows again. So I pull the shadows a little bit up, one stop before we lose details there. So now you can clearly see we have a lot more details here in the shadows. Looks great so far, I like it. And now it actually looks a bit warm, what is good in my opinion, because, well, it's Bali, it's a warm country. But of course we could make it a little bit colder, let's say 5500 temperature. Uh, how was it before? Uh, maybe 5400. Just play around with that setting until it looks good. Also what I do with my screen always before I do color grading is I actually adjust the monitor to the Rec 709 color space because as you can see with color LCD with a normal setting even if I calibrate it 
it usually ha don't have enough contrast there. When I switch it to 709, you can clearly see it's much more contrasty. And we actually figured out that before when I graded it, usually because my monitor had less contrast and it was pretty bright, the shadows were quite too dark on other monitors. So if you're on a MacBook, then I would recommend to use that monitor settings. It's actually the same with my late 2013 MacBook before. Right now I use a 2016 touch bar. So yeah, well that looks good so far, I would say. I have the um, 5500 temperature right now. And now it's up to you what you do with it. Like this is the basic grade to really get out the details. Um, of course, what you could do if you want to have a little bit more sharpness, I actually like the look like it is now, but if you would like to have a bit more sharpness, you just add the sharpening filter from Final Cut. And yeah, that's it's that one here to see a bit more what it does. Like this is 2.5, turn it off. See, it does a little bit, but not too much. It's actually quite good. I know that a lot of people on the first look, they like the, the slightly digital sharpened look a bit more. But I don't like it, that's why I remove it again, but you can do it if you want. And the other thing is what I usually do then, I simply go to colors, and I add my own LUT, so, okay. And this is my LUTs, so usually LUTs that I created by myself or that are there to um, convert something to a 709 color space. Here, for example, I have my Thailand LUTs. Okay, this is way too crazy for that. Um, this is not too bad. This is too crazy. Yeah, this also doesn't work. I would say this LUT here was pretty good. I created it by myself using color finality can adjust it, but to be honest, um, my LUTs, they work pretty good for the clips that I did at the beginning of the year in Thailand, but on Bali it's like too much green and so on, it doesn't work that good, that's why this time I will use a LUT from the Rocket Rooster Film Bundle, go to Film Logs, and I already know that this here does the best job. I would say it doesn't look too good, maybe we need a little bit more saturation here because it really desaturates everything. I'd say that's a little bit better and maybe we also just that again. I mean at the end what matters is your final look what the people actually see. So this is also okay to do that yeah. Yeah that already looks a lot better. Maybe a little bit less sharp uh, and less saturation. Awesome. So this was my first color grading process that I usually use and you can clearly see that it doesn't look perfect right now and this is simply because there is not the perfect color profile from Film Convert out there. But I still want to show it here because when it's out you should check their website for that. Then you should definitely use the new profile from Film Convert and it will look a lot better. That's why I will show you my other color uh, grading profile process now that I usually use right now for Mavic 2 Pro footage. And to get started with that um, color grading process I will first insert the LUT. And this is actually the LUT that's coming from the DJI website. I will put the link in the description. It's a D-Log M2 Rec 709. And you can already see it does a lot better, right, than Film Convert right now. You can clearly see that it looks a bit better. But of course, it's far away from perfect, and that's why I turn my video scopes on. RGB, yeah, this is what I usually use. Um, you can use like the normal histogram and so on, it's up to you, but I really like to use this. And then I apply that color grading effect here a basic three-way color correction. And what I first want to do then is I want to bring it a little bit up right before touching the 100 IDR here. And then I bring the shadows a little bit down. You can also see clearly that we get a lot more details here in the shadows than we would get in, in Film Convert. And I actually did a mistake. I don't want to bring the shadows down. I want to bring my midtones down to preserve the shadows. And you can see clearly that now the colors get a bit more intense. It's usually the case when the midtones get down. That's great. I like that look. And you can also see that we're not uh, removing or losing any details here, neither in the shadows than in the highlights. No, that's perfect. Yeah, awesome. And then I add a little bit more saturation. Okay. 
That's a little bit too much. I would say that's good. And then what I also want to do is it's, I, I don't like the green tones right now, so it's not warm enough. That's why I add the color wheels. You could actually do the complete process that I did before also with the color wheels here. But um, yeah, I, I don't really like them. I like to do my base grade using the normal color correction. And I use that here to raise the temperature a little bit. It's a really nice tool from Final Cut. So uh, it's a bit too much. I would say yeah, around 6,000, that's good. Awesome. Also, it's a little bit greenish now, so we could actually change that. Right now, to the left, you see it's more greenish. Here, it's a bit more purple. So I want it to be like that to give it a nice natural look. Not too purple, of course. It's also up to you. It's like how you like it. A little bit less. Okay, that's great. Yeah, and then we can actually do the same process as before, and I will play the same LUT from the Rocket Rooster. Cine 10. Oh. Wow, that looks great. You can clearly see, like compared to the film convert color grading process, that we have a little bit more contrasty colors here, like here are a bit more brown or red tones, and here we have more nice greens. It's nice here, also like the blue from the waterfall here, and here you can slightly see the rainbow, also awesome. So that looks nice, let's play it. I really love it. It's also this process here is good because the client that I'm doing the video for actually likes more saturated greenish colors, so with that I have a bit more flexibility than I would have with Film Convert and that's actually a good reason why I do it like that. So yeah, let's turn it on again. I love it. It's really good. Oh, I'm actually a bit sweaty right now because I had to turn my AC on for the audio of the camera and yeah, it's quite hot here on Bali right now. But yeah, these were my two color grading processes that I would use right now for the Mavic 2 Pro. Right now I actually suggest to use the color grading process using the, uh, the LUT from the DJI website because it really gives the best results, like the, LUT, um, the preset from Film Convert is not perfect right now from the Phantom 4 Pro, but you can use it. So better wait a bit until Film Convert brings out a special preset just for the Mavic 2 Pro. And yeah, just as a conclusion here, you simply install the LUT first or apply the LUT first and you do that first to convert the um, lock color space to the 709 color space and then you do your base grade and then your final look grade. You can either grade it by yourself creating your own look, that's always the best way usually. But yeah, I was playing around with that clip a lot and I just found that this LUT just works best for that clip. So I used the Rocket Rooster. Um, seen a 10 LUT for that then but yeah you're free to use everything that you want and yeah like this is actually like the same as every process first creating your base grade and then your final look grade so I really hope you like this video and you have a lot of fun with the Mavic 2 Pro it's an awesome drone and if you want to have a bit more tips for the Mavic 2 Pro other drones and filmmaking in general then please hit the subscribe button now I publish at least one video per week so don't miss that out and see you in the next video